Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2018 Mercedes Benz E63 S AMG 4Matic Plus. The C63 is currently showing just over 72,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report, alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll be taking you on a quick condition overview around both the interior and the exterior of this beautiful performance sedan, as well as showing you some of the more notable features, especially once we get to the inside, there is quite a bit to go over. But starting here on the exterior, of course we find it finished in this stunning gloss black paint scheme. Nice little bit of metallic to accent that straight black finish as well. You'll also notice, if we can get out of the sun a little bit, all of the window surround trim is finished in a nice black to match whereas you still have that nice bright contrast on the door handles and a little bit on these stunning wheels as well but before we get into those let's take a quick look down the side of the vehicle looking for any dings dents or irregularities in the way the light reflects off the panel we do have a very small ding there under the mirror but beyond that as we make our way to the rear of the vehicle it all looks absolutely stunning here on the e63 now looking at the wheels, of course you will have noticed them. They look absolutely gorgeous. 20 inch AMG wheels. You could see largely perfect condition despite a very small nick there on the top, but they look fantastic. I love that two-tone color scheme with the nice metallic gray paint and then the outer finish on that nice machined raw metal look. And I also love that they went through that little bit of extra trouble to cover up the lug nuts with that nice center cover. It almost looks like a center lock performance wheel. Now, even in the rear, you can see the massive braking we have here in the back with those drilled and slotted rotors and those nice big red AMG calipers. However, once we get to the front, as you would expect, it's a little bit different. We have an absolutely massive braking set up here in the front and a wheel in absolutely perfect condition looking fantastic of course we pass that other chrome accent the v8 bi-turbo formatic plus badge just there on the fender now looking here at the front fascia beautiful design i think this is my favorite iteration of the e63 headlight lenses look fantastic as you can see there no oxidation discoloration or scratching and they provide a nice accent with that silver finish on the inside you can see they really did a great job of styling those headlights. They look very aggressive and yet very refined. The last bit of silver we have here, of course, is that massive center Mercedes emblem and the horizontal slats surrounding it. You can see this doubles as a radar function, uh, so it can help you with guided cruise control, various other functions. But you can also see a nice little touch is that there's little defroster lines in that sensor. So no matter what condition you're driving in, that sensor will always have a clear view of the road ahead. You also have a camera just below there, which we'll explore a bit further once we make our way inside. Now taking a look here at the passenger side, again, looking beautiful. We can see that front wheel in great condition with only a couple of nicks there around two o'clock and those massive brakes just behind. Looking for any imperfections here, moving down the side of the vehicle. It all looks very, very nice here on the passenger side. And of course, finally, this rear wheel in fantastic condition. Looking here at the rear of the vehicle, nothing to be concerned with here, just a small leaf. But you can see the trunk looks great. You do have all of your badging finished in chrome. Of course, that AMG script, that nice chrome trim around the uh, top of that license plate area with the Mercedes emblem, and of course, your E63S badge just there taillight lenses look fantastic and have a beautiful design element inside it almost looks like crushed up crystals there you can see the way the sun reflects off of them and it gives it a really luxurious look especially in the bright light you do have a small nick just here at the back of this taillight however we're not seeing any fogging or any kind of haze inside the lens looking a little bit lower nice quad exhaust outlets finished in black to match with that nice diffuser panel just in between Lastly, we do have this nice spoiler 
that gives it a slightly more aggressive touch here at the rear. But next up, let's make our way to the interior. We have a lot to cover here. As we open up the door, door panel, absolutely stunning materials, which we'll explore more in a moment. Looking at these seats, beautiful design and materials used. You can see they're in wonderful condition. All of the suede, which we find here on the edges of the bolsters, looks fantastic. And the leather on the inside with all of that white stitching and piping looks great as well. We also have that AMG crest just there, which looks great embossed in the headrests with that matching white stitching. As we make our way inside, we pass over the beautiful AMG little door sill that illuminates in the dark. And we will close this door panel with a really solid thunk and listen to how much it deadens the outside noise. If you want to listen, falls very quiet once you close up the E63 AMG. So I'm going to waste no time in firing it up using the start button just there. V8 engine fires to life just there with a wonderful bark out of the back. Looking just ahead of me here, you can see the steering wheel controls all in wonderful condition. You also have these shift paddles, which make a very satisfying click as you select your gear up or down. Steering wheel itself, really nice in the hand, very aggressive, very thick grips, and the suede gripping on either side, which of course is great in a performance setting. And of course, just here on the top, in rather nice condition with a little bit of wear, we have that nice white leather strip to show you your center point on the wheel which is just a nice design element beyond the functionality of it. And of course, the silver AMG emblem just below. Looking here at the door cards, I mentioned I'd show them off. Beautiful carbon fiber trim with some silver accents. Let's back up the camera a little bit. And that stitch leather on the top of the panel is very supple, very nice. A little bit lower, we have those dual stitched panels of leather. If you see the flickering on the ambient lighting, that's only due to the camera's effect. Uh, however, here to the human eye, it works absolutely perfect and looks great. It's even nice that it's bright enough to be seen during the daytime. Looking a bit lower, you have your chrome window switches, which look great. And that'll take us here to the center of the interior. Looking across the dashboard, it all is in wonderful condition with some great materials, that nice stitched leather. You also have your heads-up display just there, which is just ahead of me, as you can see. Really nice and very responsive two changes in RPM, which I love to see as well. Fully digital display just ahead of me here. Try to angle the camera this way to maybe show it off a little bit better. Get out of the sun just a little bit. So as you can see, I currently have it set to the classic uh, gauge cluster, which is a nice look and I love the yellow trim. It goes well with the AMG theme. However, if I use these controls here on the left side of the steering wheel, which function very nicely, I can back out run all the way down here to my designs, select that menu, then I can choose from my classic, the progressive, which gives it a very cool blue hue and a bit of a different set of information, or I can run up to my sport, which of course a lot of AMG owners are gonna prefer because it is kind of the niche of this car, that performance feel as opposed to a regular E-Class. But we'll back out of there, leaving it in sport, Show off a couple more functions here in the gauge cluster. Of course, I have navigation, my media controls, all the stuff you would expect. But this menu is actually really interesting. The AMG performance menu. I'll try to show it straight on here. You can see here on the left side, I currently have it set up in the boost gauge and my current horsepower and torque output. But if I want to select a different menu, I have various other screens I can choose, which show different you know, bits of information that you might find relevant. Like if I go through the different drive modes, like Sport Plus, you'll now see it showing how every aspect of the vehicle is set up, engine and dynamic, etc. So that's a really, really cool function just there in the gauge cluster. But there's so much you could explore in here. We will move along here to the center console. Now, if you see any flickering on the screen, that's only due to the camera, as I mentioned with the lighting. You can see I currently have it in the performance uh, screen, pardon me, I'll back out of this, show you a couple different functions. Of course, full color navigation display as you would expect, I'm really trying to keep it out of the sun here so you can see better. Very nice full color 3D navigation display. Back out of that to show off my reversing camera and the top down 360 view. And if I put it in reverse and then into drive, you'll see that camera on the right change to the forward facing camera, which is great when you're approaching a curb and you wanna keep that nice aggressive front bumper safe. 
backing back out into this main menu, going back to the vehicle, we'll find some nice controls here, various different track apps, which will show you know, performance data for the car, or if you did want to take this on a racetrack, you will see uh, zero to 60 times, lap times, etc. But one thing I love is the ambient lighting. You'll see this highlighted in the listing via alphacars.com, all of uh, just how bright and intense these lights can be. You can change between a variety of different color schemes, which really allow you to personalize the interior to your liking, which is something I absolutely love. We'll leave it on purple uh, for the time being. We'll back out of there, moving a little bit further down now, looking here at that beautiful carbon fiber trim carrying all the way across the center console. Again, pardon that sunlight, very bright. You can see a little bit lower down, this nice piano black trim. All of your controls just here look wonderful and work exactly as they should. And of course, a beautiful analog clock just there in the center. Now looking a little bit lower here, we do have your center console with your cup holders and a little bit of storage and power outlets just there. We also have your center control stack, which of course runs this screen. And you can also select your various drive modes, like your individual programmable drive mode, your comfort, sport, sport plus, and of course the race. Uh, sport plus is gonna raise the idle, give you a little bit more response and a slightly louder exhaust. And of course race is just gonna turn that up to 11. Now looking just here, center console, nice split armrest that reveals a bunch of storage there in the middle and the materials feel wonderful. And the final thing we'll touch on is here on the left side, you can see some more controls. Uh, that steering wheel button on the left is actually gonna allow the vehicle to, uh, in certain conditions, steer you along on the highway as long as it senses that you're paying attention. And then every other set, uh, setting here you'll find various different functions like your heads up display, your lane keep assist, your parking sensors, and of course, that nice rear window screen, which is a great feature to have as well. And you can see that it opens and drops down exactly as it should. You also have a vehicle lift, which can raise up the vehicle in certain situations if you're trying to get over an obstacle. But next up, let's take a quick look under the hood and see what really puts the AMG in this E63 AMG. I'll meet you there. All right, so as you can see, we're up here at the front of the E63 AMG taking a look under the hood. First off, you can see condition-wise, all of these plastic panels at the rear of the engine bay look great. Reservoir is nice and clear. You can see the aluminum portion here at the front looks nice as well. And the engine cover looks great. But let's get into the real details here. This, of course, is Mercedes famous four liter twin turbo V8 powertrain. Now, it's no slouch in the, quote, regular E63 AMG. However, here in the S model, you get a nice boost in power and torque, which is wonderful. So, horsepower is around 603, and torque is around 627 pound-feet, which is just incredible. And with that being said, Mercedes have been known to slightly underrate their cars from the factory, and also the tuning potential is incredible. So, if that number isn't quite enough for you, A, you may already have more than that, and B, getting more is gonna be no difficulty. But, really cool detail, I love Mercedes, designed this engine as a hot V layout, and what that means is those dual turbochargers sit right between the cylinder banks, and you can actually look right at them through this small window in the engine cover. And keeping them right between the cylinder banks means less distance for air to travel, which means less waiting for boost, less lag, and a more progressive power band, which is just incredible. It's so linear, and the torque is just remarkable. And let's not even start talking about the sound that comes out of the back. So, really quickly looking here at the second row of seating, very nice condition. As you can see, the seats look wonderful. Making my way inside is a six foot four adult sitting behind where I would comfortably drive the vehicle. You can see I have plenty of knee room thanks to these clever cutouts in the seats and a beautiful view of the cabin here in the E63. Looking just below me here, I have some climate controls as well as some power outlets and storage just under there. And just next to me, a nice center console armrest with cup holders and storage. Also beautiful door panels, even for your rear passengers. Now lastly, let's just pop open the trunk. One touch operation opens that right up and we can see very, very nice condition. We have all the original floor mats, whereas we have the uh, 
WeatherTech mats installed at the moment. And a really neat feature here, when you open up this small drawer, it reveals this small storage tray, but let's say maybe you have some groceries or something you don't want rolling around. So long as it's under 20 pounds, you can just drop it right down. And now you have this sliding storage area, which with one touch on this button is retracted to this tray and is easily stowed away. It's a very nice touch. And you can see with one touch, it drops the trunk down neatly into place. So if you have any further questions related to this absolutely stunning E63S AMG, please reference the listing at alphacars.com, and there you will find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time, and have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.